Alright everybody, welcome back to another vlog. I'm Trucker Mike. Sorry I didn't vlog yesterday or day before. It's been a short day. Today's going to be a short day too. But I thought I'd vlog something. Um, down here in Cartersville, Georgia. I'm only 72 miles from my delivery. I don't deliver until 5 o'clock this evening. I'm fixing to head over there just to I'm bored. But now I know I showed you guys a picture of it, but pictures just don't do it justice. That's my uh, faceplate for my uh, CB that I'm getting in that I got worked on that I did the video on it. You can see the font. I had them changed to a tribal font. I like tribal it's the tribal graphics on my truck and then my business name's in a tribal font as well so that's that so as soon as I get my radio in you home get it I can install that can't wait for that so anyway this next item that I actually found at it's either a TA or a pilot they had them on clearance and uh, this is the product that after I used it and I discovered that it was on Shark Tank that's how I got started the, the TV show and um, but let me preface I'm not being paid they have not contacted me or what this is just a product that I use now matter of fact I ordered some more of them and because um, let's just face it there's going to be times out here well you when you might not be able to take a shower for you know two three days especially in the winter time so um, I carry I order these on Amazon really cheap I'll put links down below um, and they're called dude shower on the go now, this is a pack of a three pack um, each pack has eight body wipes and these things are ten by eight they're big I mean they're like this wide and this tall I mean they're big wipes and um, Yeah, they're they're really good for taking, you know, for if you can't get that shower, if you're stranded somewhere, stuck at a shipper receiver, you know, like a meat load, and you're there for a day or two days, and you and you want to, I mean, yeah, you, you know, I used to use baby wipes and everything, but you know, these are designed for men, manly men. <laughs> so um, anyway, there's there's three packs in here. There's eight wipes to a pack. So I bought these. And I didn't know they made these until I looked on Amazon. But they make the dude wipes. And there's uh, 48 of them in here. These are 7 by 7 inches. So these are your standard regular you know, size like baby wipes or whatever. But they're dude wipes for men. Fragrance free. They come in this black package. So, anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I'd share that with you. They actually make baby wipes for men. And gave it a manly name and called it Dude Wipes. So, I got a couple packs of these. So, when you go to the bathroom inside, you want to be all refreshed. You know, put these in your jacket pocket or something and take them. So... Shower, dude, dude shower on the go, and dude wipes. For the times that you can't get a shower and you're stuck in your truck for a few days and don't want to smell your funk, that's why I carry them. So, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. But let me show you, uh, that's a little bit more organized. I shot a video of it yesterday, but now let me, uh, 
Let me show you what it looks like. Um, better. Hey guys, let me show you my office. It's kind of a mess right now because I'm organizing. Uh, this is all my projects right here. Everything that's getting installed on my truck. Like I got the. These are the lights right here that are going on the side of my fairing. So when I turn them on, they shine to the very back of my trailer. One of these boxes has four of those uh, rock lights in it. I still got to install four. Those four on the outside, then I'll be done installing. Then I just got the rest of the wires. These are the RGB ones. I got. They produce 16 million different variants of color. These two right here are tube lights. They're blue. Uh, one set's going in my headlight. The other set's going underneath my door. This one right here is tube lights, but they're white and amber. These are going to go in my headlights. So the whites will be on for driving lights. And then when I turn the turn signals on or the four ways, they turn amber. This box right here has my new fog lights, the LED fog lights, which I can't install yet. I'm waiting for my new bumper. This is my auto headlights. This will make my headlights come on automatically and when it gets to a certain darkness outside or if I go through a tunnel and they'll stay on for like 15 or 20 seconds after I shut the truck off. So that's that. This box here has my, the two smaller spotlights that I'm gonna put on the railing back there in my sleeper. So if I'm backing up in the dark and a tra you know, I want it to be able to shine, you know, down on my fifth area or into the, you know, the trailer, that area. Got that other fuse box. This down here is my fob kit, the push start system for my, my truck. Kind of like what my wife has in her. This right here is the kit module that goes with this. That when I lock my doors and my windows are down, my windows are automatically rolled up. This is a, a timer delay that goes with this. I had to buy a separate because I have a diesel and I needed an extra timer delay. These are the angel eye lights that are going on my headlights when I take the headlights apart. These are extension cables for the RGB lights. This is an extension cable for the fog lights. These are zip, light, uh, zip tie mounts. I'll be doing a lot of zip tying. yeah got my cable there's a four gauge and eight gauge cable here Let's see here and then I got the rest of my wire there I got 14 gauge 12 gauge and 20 gauge wire and then I got a bunch of smaller wire there yeah my bunks a mess because like I said I'm organizing and I got a monitor my 24 inch TV is mounted there. I can swing it around and, and all that. Of course, there's my laptop. Yes, I'm burning a candle because it smells good. And then there's my dash. And I actually got a small computer chair in here. There used to be a cabinet right here behind uh, my hanging clothes, but there's no cabinet there no more. I took it out. Behind here is my printer. So, it's functional. All right, guys, this is what, uh, I took all those boxes down. There's my laptop over there. Anyway, this is my table. Now when I was cleaning out yesterday, I put all this box in the front because when I put up to the fuel while I'm gonna throw all that stuff away. But I don't know if you can see it. Here's my uh, my mechanics creeper right there. And then underneath this box here, 
down there are my ramps. But anyway, here's my my desk. Here's my monitor. What's good about this monitor? It's also my TV, and I can swivel it around because it's on this little mount right here. You know, if I'm sitting in bed, I can angle it like that and watch TV. Or if I'm working on it as a computer monitor, then I can swing it back over here like that and work on it that way. And if I want to get it out of the way so I can work on my desk, I'll put it that way. Now that's how I record my videos when I'm recording you guys. Sit here to see. And then I got my other phone mounted there to record. I moved my dash cam up over here because as you can see right here, this spot, which is where it was at, doesn't forget washed by the wiper blades very good so I had to move it over. Got my new chrome aesthetic mic. But yeah that's my uh, desk area and of course my printer is over there. Alright everybody, I just left the TA truck stop here at Cartersville, Georgia, and I am heading toward Dakula, Georgia. They're expecting a quarter inch of snow here Tuesday evening. I'm like, what's really going on? Alright everybody, uh, I haven't vlogged in a, several hours, um, I got unloaded at my receiver, and um, about 10.30, 10.40, I left there about 10.40 this evening, came over here to the Petro here at exit 12 in Atlanta, got to wash out, got my parking spot, I reserved a parking spot. I knew I was coming here. Uh, probably, then they send me a load. Ridgie picks up at 8 o'clock in the morning in Columbus, Georgia, which is like 114 miles from here. And I'm like, can you guys open up this appointment? Like, oh yeah, what time can you be there? So I'll be there by noon because, you know, I'm not even unloaded yet. I haven't I've been up all day. You know, I want to get at least seven, that's six, seven hours of sleep. So anyway, they open it up to noon. So I'm gonna get up about seven, get some fuel, and then head on over there. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna end my vlog here. If you like this video, hit that like button. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do so, and I will see you guys tomorrow for today. It is currently 12, 12 a.m. on the 16th. So, yeah, got to pick up a load going up to Illinois, but there's that winter storm Inga or whatever it's called going through there. It's not a big storm, but still enough to mess things up. And, uh, but I gotta go by my my rural my rent my winter rural is I, I won't drive through a storm. That's just stupid. Um, 
so it's supposed to snow in Chattanooga, it's supposed to snow, there's a 30% chance of snow tomorrow evening here. Um, I'm going to make probably make it up to Cartersville, to that TA, I'm 600 miles from there. I don't have to be in Illinois until Thursday noontime. So I got time, and so I already told Night Dispatch, you know, I'll pick up the load, but I'm not driving through that storm, so I'm going to stop somewhere along the way. It's supposed to end, clear out of there by tomorrow, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to bed. See you guys tomorrow, or later on today.